All right, guys, Joshua Clear back with you. Uh, sorry about the previous video. Um, I actually lost the uh, screen. Uh, the screen went to sleep, so I got to turn my wife's auto lock off. So hopefully that doesn't happen again here. Uh, maybe if I keep touching and manipulating the screen, it will uh, not do that. Okay, sorry for the technical difficulties. At this time, I wanted to show you the iReal SMS app, and that is right here. It has replaced my stock Apple iPhone uh, text messaging app, mobile SMS, uh, for this much better platform. Uh, in my previous video, I touched on it slightly, but I want to show you right here. You can pre I have mine set to quick send with a volume up touch. I press the volume up button. And just in case you're curious, you can keep pressing the volume button. Let me uh, let it go off again. Okay, the volume's off. I hit it once. That comes up. I hit it twice. My volume comes back up. So it doesn't interfere with your use of the volume button. But the first time you press it, it just pops up this. You can uh, begin typing in names, and it'll smart search your phone book. Tap a name to add. You can uh, also put the cursor back up there in the to field and uh, add m multiple recipients. So uh, we'll do that now. So we have more than one recipient. We can uh, type in our text, whatever we may want to send, and then we hit send. Also, um, you have this same type of a pop-up window if somebody sends you a text, so you no longer have to exit your app. You're in good shape if somebody sends you a text while you're doing something. You can go back to what you were doing without having to go into the text messaging app, out of the text messaging app. It's very inconvenient. Also, you could use this as a quick call feature because you can search your phone book really quick. You can look at phone numbers just by hitting the volume up and start typing a name. Um, and now you can also... Um, at that point, be able to call them also. It has a quick call button, and uh, also when you are getting a text message and you want to reply to it, there's also a call button. As you can see right there, in the middle it says call. So you can use this for a quick call feature, or if somebody uh, texts you and you want to you know, go ahead and uh, call them instead of texting them back, that's another option that you have. Now here's the uh, application itself. Those are just the quick send features. This is actually a full user interface for text messaging. Now this loads up and you can see it looks very similar to the screen that you're familiar with, um, your stock text messaging. However, one of the first features that's different is you actually have an inbox, an outbox, drafts. You even have templates, which I love. You can create text messages that you want to use uh, frequently and be able to insert them. And I'll show you that now. Back to your conversation screen. Um, you also, let me point out too while we're looking at buttons, you have the search text messaging feature which allow you to look for either names or particular lines of text or both at the same time. Um, I know that 3.0 has some features like this but I'm not sure if it's uh, fully capable and uh, the uh, jailbroken apps actually have a global search that will search every single thing in your phone. I know that the 3.0 has a search feature, the spotlight search, uh, but there are some even more powerful search devices um, that work similar to Spotlight on a Mac or, you know, searching for something uh, on your computer. It's exhaustive search. So anyway, we'll go to conversations and uh, we will take a look at a conversation. We'll just pull one up randomly. Uh, this is with my wife now. As you can see here down in the bottom, you have a couple different buttons. Um, first, you have a trash can. That's to delete single lines of text or whole uh, conversations. You can select a text and uh, you can trash it or you can uh, forward it. Uh, here's something very cool. You know, you can forward it, you can in, put it in multiple recipients. Um, we're going to, let me see here, I'll show you a couple features while we're on this screen. Uh, you can turn the correction off and on with this button here. You can also insert, very cool, you can insert a contact or insert one of those template texts that I mentioned to you before and uh, this is very convenient. I've had this feature on my iPhone for months now, a long time before 3.0 came out. I know they've made some upgrades to the text messaging program, but this one still blows it away. Check this out. Here's, let me hit send. I have a setting where I can confirm, okay, we got an error there because I have nobody in the to field, but let's try to pick somebody out. And, uh, grandma and Grandpa, we're gonna send this text message to Grandma and Grandpa. I'm gonna hit send, wait a minute, there's a little uh, message asking me, am I sure? So this um, gets rid of the problem of you accidentally sending text messages that you didn't mean to because you know what? My grandmother, she doesn't know how to text. 
she probably doesn't even have texting on her plan. So here's another thing. You know what? But what I text her, I'd really like to keep it. So I'm going to hit cancel. And I know that sounds weird, but you hit cancel, and then you can save this as a draft, and it will save to your draft box. And then there's the feature that you really love, save as a template. So that's how you would get to that feature. And once you save that, then you could go in and uh, use this insert button, insert template, and uh, you can grab one of your template text messages and uh, put it in there. So you see how that just populated right there. Okay, we're going to cancel, and then we're going to not save because uh, we don't want to do that. Go back to the conversations. You also have a bunch of features right here on this plus button. I could call this contact. I could show this contact. I could add the information from this text message to a contact or create a new one. I could forward this via email. This is very cool. You want to send some, somebody text you something, you want to send it to somebody, and uh, you know they don't have text messaging or whatever, you just can't do it. Uh, you can send it via mail, or if the contact has an email address associated with it, you can also reply to this text message via your mail app. You know, and in today's mobile world, things changing, uh, you know, minute by minute, the way that you need to communicate can change from converse, from one moment in a conversation to another. So that's a great feature. Um, you can also, you know, keep records of conversations that way or anything like that. So that's the reply button. Um, you have the same features that I showed you in the other screen. This is the basic uh, text text entry screen. As you can see, a couple more buttons on the screen and a lot more features available to you in your text messaging app. I mean, it's 2009. People are texting all the time. Um, this is the kind of application that you want. Apple has really missed the mark on creating a viable text messaging program, a viable text messaging application for the iPhone. They've really dropped the ball here, and the designers of this program have done an outstanding job. This program functions perfectly. I, I use it all the time. This is all I use, and uh, this is a really great app. So if you want, this uh, app is not a free app. Uh, the, it is a paid app, um, but it's worth every penny because of this functionality. And uh, again, another button here on the right you see is just to uh, compose a new text message. And uh, you know, it just it just uh, it's a very cool app, and uh, I know you're gonna love it. You definitely want to try it out, guys. Stay posted. My next uh, pod uh, screencast or whatever you want to call this is going to be on the H clipboard application, which allows you to have a real clipboard, like in Microsoft Office, and not just a one layer of copy and paste. On the 3.0 software, yeah, you can copy and paste, but you can only copy and paste one thing at a time, which is uh, not very helpful if you need to have email usernames or passwords or that kind of thing that you can one-click paste right into your uh, username or password fields anywhere you go. If you're tired of typing long names, then that's the app for you. We're going to do that next. Stay tuned. This is Joshua Clear. You can get in touch with me if you're in the South Florida area and interested in my services, or if you just have any questions, it'd be my pleasure to help you. Please get in touch with me at iClearSolutions at Yahoo.com. That's my email address, I-C-L-E-A-R-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S at yahoo.com. iClearSolutions at yahoo.com. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Give me a shout. You guys have a blessed day.